Hello and welcome to Melissa Data, your partner in data quality. This video covers using US Check and Verify in Listware for Excel. My name is Matthew Bain, the technical writer here at Melissa Data. First off, what is Listware? Listware is a data quality plugin for Excel. Now why would you want to use this? What uses does Listware have? Listware is useful for cleansing and updating all types of lists. For example, marketing lists, or customer lists, or donor lists. Listware provides you with the capability to keep your data fresh and current. This helps with fraud protection. You will also have updated move information and current phone number information. You can verify every piece of information you have and append any missing contact information. Today we will cover two basic things that you need to know to get started with Listware, your license and a simple data cleansing. First, your license. Your license is your key. Without the license, Listware will not run. You can get your license from the Melissa Data website. To set your license, click on the Listware ribbon and the Settings button. Now, as you can see right here, you just enter your license right here under Customer License. Then it'll show you your customer ID and credit balance, both which were pulled from your license. Second, a simple data cleansing using US Check and Verify. There are six simple steps to US Check and Verify. Processing range, cleansing operation, input columns, output columns, review settings, and processing. Processing range. This is where you select your data. Once again, make sure you're under the Listware ribbon and click on the US button under Check and Verify. As you can see, we have a file open. These are 10 records that we want to process. So we select the whole file or all these ranges that we want and then you click Select Data to Process. And when the range shows the rows here, you know that it was successful. Click Next to continue. Cleansing Operations. Select the operations you want to perform. In our test, we want to perform all operations we have available, including move update and append geolocations. You can also see your credit balance and your estimated credit usage. Now remember, your actual usage may differ depending on the quality of your data. This is just an estimate. Click Next to continue. Input columns. Specify the columns which contain the data you want to process. Listware is pretty good about automatically detecting these. If you need to change one, just click on the drop down menu next to the field and choose whatever it should be. Click Next to continue. Output columns. Specify what data you would like to output. In our situation, we are only going to output full name, nothing under name 2, nothing under salutation, and we are going to go ahead and put full address information, and latitude and longitude, and phone, and email. Click Next to continue. Review Settings. This is where you can review your settings and make sure that everything's how you want it before you process your data. This includes being able to view your range, the options selected, and your account information. Click Process to start processing your data. Processing. Once processing is complete, a Listware for Excel window will pop up telling you how many credits were actually consumed. So the important thing to note is that we still have all of our original data. It is unchanged. What Listware did was insert the columns and appended any missing information. So if you scroll over, we can see that now we have MD full name, MD company, MD address, and etc. So a good example of how this works is the name column. As you can see, we have nine good names and one bad name. This one bad name is highlighted blue. So if we look over here, we have the name highlighted in blue. 
And if you will also note, we have three names in a white. If we look over here, these are those three names that were appended based on their address data. We can also look at address. We have eight good addresses and two bad addresses. Take note of the bright red for bad, and you can see that this record contains the bad address as well as this record. Those are our two bad addresses. And one nifty thing is if you mouse over any one of these fields, the result code will pop up telling you what was changed. So for example, this 50 Cole Parkway says AE09, which means sweet apartment missing. Once again, this is all more data for you, so you know how best to cleanse your data. And also take note, this fuchsia color says six addresses were corrected. So if we look, one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you look at this address, it says it had an AC13 and AC14. Suite name and range was changed to apartment 236. So if we go look at our original data, we will take note that there is no apartment number or apartment. This is one of many ways that Listware will cleanse your data. And we can also note that we have our latitude and longitude added, and even the phone numbers and emails were checked. And you are even given a set of result codes as to what happened, what was changed with the data. As you can see, this product gives you power to do what you want with your data. And you can even dive in as deep as you want as to the quality of your data. So just remember, six simple steps. Processing range, cleansing operation, input columns, output columns, review settings, and processing. So thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful. And remember, you can always contact Melissa Data online at www.melissadata.com or call us at 1-800-MELISSA. Have a nice day.